Testing, testing, one, two. Ichi Nisanchi, go Roku Sichi, Achi Kyuju, poof! Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse, of course. Now, guys, today, poof! I'm very excited because, of course, the video is all about Open Brush and the new updates that they're going to be releasing very soon. But first, oh my God, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Guys, we just reached 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Woo! Absolutely amazing, guys. Your love, your likes, your views, your reshares has brought us to 10,000 community members. I'm so thankful. You guys are super awesome. Big pat you can give yourself. A pat on the back. Of course, if you're new to the channel, welcome to this big mayhem. Those who follow the channel know how much energy and positivity there is here. So they're, you know, they're like, yeah, I know, I know, lads, I know what he's doing. I've been there, I like this, I dig it, I'm with it. But if you're new, of course, maybe you're like, what the hell's going on here? All right, so where's the party at? Guys, thank you so much for your 10,000 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing, as I just mentioned. And in commemoration of the 10,000 subscribers, you can go in the link description below, click on that URL that will lead you as to where you could potentially win a HP, brand new HP, by the way, brand new, yes. Sponsored by HP, an HP Reverb G2, of course. Also, second winner will walk away with a brand new pair of cyber shoes, with the cyber gaming station, the cyber chair, the carpet, everything that goes with it. And a third winner will walk away with a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any any VR experience on any store that you want. It doesn't matter whether it's the MetaQuest store, the Vive port, or the Steam VR store. be completely up to you how to spend that money. So guys, do make sure you're part of the notification squad as well, as we will be uploading cool content, excluding, including, sorry, exclusively including on the channel this weekend, the Logitech brand new opening unboxing of the G923, of course, and also testing out the HP Reverb G2 Omnicep and much, much more. And of course, you want to be subscribed, you, know, you want to enable the bell after you subscribe because you could be notified as potentially the winner of the giveaway of the HP Reverb G2 Cyber Shoes and the voucher, guys. All right. Oof. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? Let's dive into today's video because it is actually really, really exciting as to what's going on. So just to recap very quickly, we did talk about Open Brush on the channel very recently as well. So do go and check out that video. Open Brush is basically the open source version of Tilt Brush, which enables you to paint, to draw in virtual reality. Not only is it very relaxing and very medi meditational inside, but it's just amazing the level of creativity, the level of escapism that it offers is just mind blowing, guys. All the special effects from ice, fire, glowing, fairy dust, stars, planets. I mean, it's just amazing as to what you can do in this thing. And guys, do go and check out also this amazing, amazing person called Anna Dreambrush. If you're not familiar with her, she's absolutely an amazing lady. Let me just go to her channel very quickly. There we go. <clears throat> I mean, look at the level of things that she's able to do with Open Brush. I mean, Tilt Brush is absolutely amazing. Now, Tilt Brush was released by Google a few years back. It was chargeable, about 20 US or something like that, available on cross-platform, but then they decided to close it down and make it open source. So another community then came around and basically called it Open Brush, which is the open source version of Tilt Brush. And everything that you can do in Tilt Brush, you can also do in Open Brush. However, I think there's only one big difference, and but it is possible this has changed since you know the date you will see this video is basically there was a huge community which enabled you to save your work and then go inside of tilt brush and dive inside of all the other members or all the other creatives who had posted their work in the community and dive inside of it and explore it and make changes to it however i think with open brush that's not available i will have to double check but it is possible as i mentioned but by the time you watch this video that basically it is also available and you can actually go and check out everyone else's work as well. But other than that, um, everything's the same. As I mentioned, you can zoom, zoom in and out, make all your drinks really huge scale, small scale. I mean, the level of things that you can do in this thing is just absolutely, absolutely mind boggling. Um, you know, there's absolutely nothing you can do in Open Brush that you, you wouldn't have been able to do in Tilt Brush. So it's exactly the same 
as far as I'm concerned, for all the tools, all the brushes, all the colors, everything that you can do inside of Tilt Brush, you can now do completely free and openly inside of Open Brush. And it's a great program to download, export all your stuff, and then use it as part of your VR game development as well, if you're not just doing it you know, for yourself. Or you could download it, sell, and then sell your artwork as an NFT, and all these various different things. So it's absolutely awesome. But guys, let's talk about the new stuff that they very recently posted on Twitter because it's absolutely amazing, um, I think, as to what's going on. They just released an update. Let me just transition over very, very quickly uh, and go to the Twitter feed. So basically, big announcement by OpenBrush. They will be making available very soon. This is a world first, first guys. World first. You will now be able to use OpenBrush in mixed reality pass-through, starting off with Oculus Quest 2 Meta users will be able to use this. This is a huge deal. Now, guys, do remember that if you don't have an Oculus Quest 2, you do need a Facebook uh, account to use it at this moment in time. Facebook, as we all know, are the big devils of the industry. And quite frankly, they use all your data to, to send you various different things. Uh, they, 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 we know what Meta is about. We know Facebook is about. So at the end of the day, just be very cautious before you purchase or use an Oculus Meta Quest 2. But at the end of the day, this is the platform that OpenBrush has decided to go with to start off with. So you'll be able to basically draw and paint in color, which is absolutely, absolutely amazing, guys. Now, we also know that Meta will be releasing a brand new Cambria project, uh, Quest 3, let's say, or they might not call it Quest, according to uh, Zuckerberg during his presentation uh, in, in October or November. Um, where basically he said he, they will be releasing a new headset this year and pass-through should be in full color, which will be actually pretty amazing. So I think this is something really cool because also apparently OpenBrush team have said that they may also make the mixed, re mixed reality pass-through available on other VR headsets, for example, PC VR, so on Steam pass-through or Windows mixed reality pass-through. They are working on it. And I think that's really great because it means that all your PC VR headsets in the future potentially will not need an additional chip inside of them. We could just use the, uh, the, the NVIDIA chips cards or the AMD chip cards to enable pass-through or enable mixed reality without additional stuff to be put inside, as I mentioned, of the PC VR headsets. Now, I think that is a big, big deal because we also know that PC VR is evolving. For example, the Steam Deck will enable you to stream directly from a box, a third-party box, or your favorite Steam VR games inside of your VR headset. We know that it will be compatible with the Oculus Meta Quest 2 to begin with, although they did mention that the quality wasn't great. But we also know that they did a delay with the Steam Deck, which means potentially it could be compatible with the next Valve Index, which is supposedly standalone as well, or at least streamable to the box. So that is absolutely amazing, guys. I thought this was really cool to talk about this because obviously mixed reality painting is going to enable you to paint in the comfort of your own home. You'll be able to take a real object and paint around it. You'll be able to, to do real-time caricatures of people or, I don't know, just really cool, awesome stuff using mixed reality. And let's not, just, let's not forget that potentially it means that also Open Brush could be available on the Unreal glasses or, or, or other augmented reality glasses in the future because the software, if it's going to work on the Quest, could very well mean that it's going to work on AR glasses as well. So very, very excited about this. Open Brush team are absolutely amazing. It is also going to be coming on the Pico Neo 3 Pro Store, I hope, soon. I hope so soon, guys, if Open Brush is watching, leave a comment below also to let us know. And guys, do remember that we are doing the brand new giveaway of the HP Reverb G2, by the way, as well. Uh, and also the brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station and the 50 US dollar voucher that you'll be able to redeem any VR app on any store that you want whatsoever. So do go and check the link after this video as well to enter completely free. All right, guys, time to give back to you. Let's go back to the channel and welcome some new subscribers. All right, let's do this. So let's go here. Let's go to uh, YouTube studio. Guys, I'm so pumped, 10,000 subscribers. Look, 10,018, I mean, you guys are just amazing, amazing. 10,018, we have made the five, 
digits, the double digit number. Woo, absolutely amazing. All right, let's go to read some subscribers, see all, and then date subscribe. Let me just make it a tiny, teeny bit smaller so you can see yourself a bit easier. I'd like to welcome Evie underscore Cartman, Zonzu71, Faustino Vdez, excuse me, Emmanuel Kulum, Daniel Sun, Rabbit Rabbitar, Heiko, Jevon McKenzie, Duncan Lee, Alexa Rados. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys are super awesome. And of course, thank you all to the others who subscribe whose name wasn't mentioned today, and also to all the names who don't appear, because of course it's going to depend on your privacy settings in YouTube as well, whether your name appears or it doesn't. So now let's go and read some of the comments from other videos that we mentioned last week. Uh, just to, you know, give back to you guys as well and interact with you a little bit. So let's just go to uh, the channel. There we go. Videos. And then let's go to the Omnicep, which was posted uh, four days ago where we did the unboxing of the HP Reverb G2 Omnicep. So Dragonfriend915 says, and congrats VR Essentials on getting to 10k subscribers. Let me just make it a bit bigger so you can see. There we go. Uh, congrats, VR Essentials, on getting to 10K subscribers. And when the giveaway happens, it'll be awesome. Thank you so much, Dragon Friend. You're very welcome. And thanks for being part of this amazing community. Because it's thanks to people like you who make it amazing. I'm not the one who makes it amazing. You are. You are the heroes of this YouTube channel. Uh, MLDRC says, I'm thinking of buying an HP Reverb G2. But what should I take? Is the Omnicept a newer version of G2? Well, basically, the Omnicept, yes, is a newer version, and it also provides all the amazing sensors inside. However, the sensors are only compatible if the developers implement the SDK in those various different apps. Now, for example, it's confirmed that the facial tracker and eye tracker is not compatible with NEOS, and it's not compatible with VRChat or Somnium Space at the moment. So you can't actually use the facial feature, the facial tracker, for all these amazing metaverses. It's just a great, great shame. Now, HP have told me they are going to be working on it and will release an SDK in the future. So KIV in this space, and also, of course, Make sure you 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 you, you um, make sure that you press the notification uh, button after you subscribe, so that you get notified when I do the video about more content about the HP Omnicep coming very very soon. Maybe not this weekend, but definitely the week after, guys. All right, so let's read some more comments. Tomo Prima says, "So download the SDK and get developing, get developing some content to showcase its feature." LOL. Yes, I'm uh, testing the HP Omnicep as we speak. I'm recording content as we speak, and I will release this content, as I just mentioned, probably in a week's time, as I need more time to, uh, to, to experiment with it. And guys, I am releasing content with this guy, the G923 Logitech, this weekend. So do make sure to subscribe and enable the bell for that content. All right, and then DDW65 says, Ooh, not standalone. No, the HP Reverb G2 Omniset, of course, is not a standalone headset, as you guys know. All right, let's go back to another video. Uh, let's go to the free custom meta humans that you can do in minutes, guys, using a mobile phone. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Brett says, thank you for your thoroughly detailed breakdown as creating an avatar has kept me from indulging in the likes of VRChat. You're very, very welcome. It's just a shame that we can't use the HP Omnicept at this moment in time with the trackers to be able to really test it out. I'm so... Ah, ah. Oh, such a shame. All right, Jeremy Dice says, nice, nice. Let's see the eye tracking in motion. I'd imagine this avatar tool doesn't have rigging tools for eye tracking and face tracking. Looks like that's something we would have your guy to, uh, your guy do with the GLB. Hopefully it's not too hard. Well, as I just mentioned uh, before, with the, uh, you can download the GLB file, no issues about that. You can use the HTC Vive tracker to make it work without any issues. But with the HP Omnicept at the moment, it is not compatible, as I had mentioned. Bluebell says, great video. Thank you so much, Bluebell. You're awesome. Cybershoes, hello, Cybershoes. How are you? Wow, very nice surprise to see you on the channel. Great video. Thanks. You're very, very welcome. So guys, do remember, as I just mentioned, that you can win a brand new pair of Cybershoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, the cyber carpet, and everything that goes with it. And of course, you can also win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. So Cybershoes and HP will be the ones who send it to you, not me. They will send it to you. And the third winner will get, however, we're sponsoring this, a 50 US dollar voucher to any game keys that you want 
absolutely up to you how to spend the money. All right, guys. I'll see you in the comments below and also in another video very soon. Take it easy, guys. Bye.